Hello everybody! We've got some very exciting new products from Makeup by Mario, Natasha Denona, Laura Mercier, the mascara combo that I have been loving and raving about, and I'm excited to play with some of these things, give you a little look, and dive into what's new in the zoo, in the makeup world. So guys, we've got a fresh, fresh crimp going on. We've got a silky top on. Oh my God, it must be the weekend. It's not when this is going up, but it's the weekend for me. So let's play with some new makeup. If you like these videos, and if you want me to continue playing with new makeup and letting you know my thoughts and dibbly doobles, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos from me. And if there's any other products that you think I should be trying and reviewing here on my channel, let me know in the comments down below. My friends, let's zoom in and put some makeup on this face. Well, so before we actually start applying makeup, I just wanna say, first of all, my brows are on. Very happy, it's the usual Anastasia Brow Freeze and my NYX Blonde Pen. That's all I use today, just the two products. And it just, it's just great. I love this feathery, fluffy brow, I can't quit it. I wanted to say that this video was actually intended to be the full face of Natasha Denona video. I talked about it in a vlog. I did a little mini haul in the vlog showing you some of the products that I purchased. But you guys, from that order, I can't explain to you, like, okay, now, as of today, when I'm filming this, Toronto has started to slowly open, but at the time where I made the order, I still couldn't shop in store. We were still in lockdown. So I did my best to color match online with some of the products and like literally everything is wrong. Like I just, let me show you really quick. Okay, first of all, I got light medium 40 for the face glow foundation and it is so dark, so, so dark. And it's also like, it keeps exploding I'm not even showing you. It keeps exploding out of the side and literally pouring everywhere. I've retwisted it. I don't know what's going on. So that was a fail, but I have used this before in the past. Let me know in the comments if you guys have used this. Do you think it's worth buying again or should I just take this as a loss and be done? Let me know. Then I bought the concealer, which I bought to match that and is also too dark. <laughs> Then I bought the I Need a Nude Lip Crayon in the shade Michelle, which online looked like the most lovely kind of color that I would love. Actually, it doesn't look so bad there on my hand. It is literally pale lightness. It looks like concealer on my lips, not a color I can be down with. And then I bought one of the lipsticks. I was like, I'll just do a lovely little nude, my lip nude color. I got the shade Michelle in the lipstick um, and it's completely gray. It is a completely gray lipstick. And when I put it on, honestly, it's so funny actually. Now that I'm looking at it on my hand, it doesn't look bad on my hand, but guys, I put it on my lips. I was watching everything, playing with it. And I was like, this is so bad. <laughs> I just wanted you to know the plan was to film a full face of Natasha Denona. I have not done that. So we're just gonna play with two of the new products. I'm gonna use the new blush as well as the new Zendo palette. And that is the taste of Natasha Denona that we're gonna get today. So my apologies if you were excited to see that video, but uh, it is what it is. And if you have any favorites from the brand, feel free to please let me know in the comments below and we're gonna continue on with this vid. <laughs> well, thankfully all is not lost because I did actually get some lovely new things in PR. First being the new Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Oil Free Tinted Moisturizer Natural Skin Perfector. There's two shades here, two N1 Nude and two W1 Natural. I wanted to give this a go. They sent it in the cutest package with a little coffee maker and everything. I posted it on Instagram. It was so adorable. It's this lovely little updated packaging. Very nice. And to start, I'm actually gonna use my Wellita Skin Food. I'll be honest, it's really hot out. If I was getting ready to go outside, I would not, <laughs> I would not be wearing this in the heat, but it is just the best base. Honestly, it's the best unintentional base for makeup. And I always feel so just like extra hydrated and glowy when I put it on. And you'll notice I didn't put any of my rings on or my jewelry at all because I've noticed lately when I'm filming my videos, I always put all my jewelry on and then I do my makeup and then I kick myself after because I, I always like to just really nicely like massage my makeup down and whatever. I always have my rings on, it gets gooped in that. And when I'm doing my own makeup in my daily life, I do my makeup before I put my jewelry on for the most part. So I don't know why I don't do that in videos. So I've actually kept all my jewelry off and I'll do it at the end when the look is complete and we have our hands to work magic with. So there's my spiel. Oh my God, this video is gonna be 12 years long. And <laughs> let's dive into the tinted moisturizer. The shade 2N1 looks great. I usually like the more neutral side of the shade spectrum. Oh, Meryl's howling. She never howls up here. Meryl! She never comes upstairs when I'm filming. That is hilarious. If you're new here, hi, I have a cat. She's named Meryl 
and uh, she just loves to chat with me all day long. <laughs> okay, so I'm just pressing this into my skin with my fingers. I love me a good tinted moisturizer, a good skin tint. Anything I can kind of rub around with my fingers makes getting ready in the morning, makes doing my makeup so easy and efficient. I love to have a light base like this and then just add more coverage where needed with concealer. Um, and so far this looks great. I find that you can really get a feeling for how the product is gonna be when you rub it between your fingers. If you look at it on my fingers, it's very juicy itself. It's kind of separating a little bit, not separating in a bad way, but like it looks very thin and very serum-y, which to me just feels like it's gonna sink so beautifully into my skin and have a very natural looking finish. This is blending with the skin food flawlessly and it is a little bit more warm than my natural skin tone right now. And it is just adding that lovely warm glow all over my face. It is. It is much more yellow. I thought it would be neutral. I thought the N would be neutral. I probably should have confirmed that before I just assumed. We all know what assuming does here. But that's okay. This is always something that can be evened out with concealer and whatnot. So that's the tinted moisturizer. Lovely, very, very light coverage and blended in beautifully with the Well It Is Skin Food. I always like to take a sponge or a brush, depending on what I'm using at the end and just go around the perimeters of my face and just make sure everything's nice and pushed in. Fingers can sometimes just not be entirely 100% when it comes to blending out. So if there's any pockets of extra product, I just go over for safety with a sponge after. I'm gonna do just a quick little concealer moment. I'm gonna take my Makeup Forever self-setting concealer. This one's in the shade 30. I'm gonna use a little bit of this to brighten up just doing my like spot concealing. I'm not too fussed about having like a perfectly flawless base right now, but like I love to do this brightening moment with concealer. And you know, this last year, I don't remember specifically when at this moment, but starting to do that concealer, I believe it was a TikTok hack when I first tried it, but taking your concealer up and just giving that natural lifting moment under your eyes is very nice. So I just love to do this concealer this way regardless of how much uh, coverage I'm looking for. I just think this has a really nice effect in general and looks very nice and natural and naturally lifted. So just doing some concealer in the center of my face, around my nose where I get really red. And then I'm gonna do some Katie Jane Hughes action. I'm gonna take her number eight brush with Spectrum Collections and the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. And I've got a big patch of zits here that just won't die and it won't go anywhere. It is hanging around and it's kind of just continuing up here. It could be from dirty brushes. It could be something you ate. I can't keep up. I just accept it as it comes and cover it when I need. So I'm just taking this. This is one of my favorite concealers for covering zits. It's honestly so excellent and it just blends into the skin so much. I'm really happy that Katie Jane Hughes uses it as much as she does because it just reminds me to use it, you know, I did love it and use it for so long, but sometimes I just switch it up and it's nice to just be reminded of its magic and it just looks great, it looks very natural. And might I reiterate again that her number eight brush is fantastic. I actually, I, you know, I don't know, I can't remember if she said if they're being sold separately or not, but if they do, I literally need to buy like five more of these so that I just don't have to wash them as frequently as I've been needing to right now. I would like to always have one of these clean and on hand. And like some of my other eyeshadow brushes and things that I have multiples of, I would love to have multiples of this brush. I actually have a lot of new cream products to use today, so I'm not going to powder or anything right now. What I might do actually is take my Benefit Professional setting spray and just give this a moment to set in. Whoop. Just while we go ahead and talk about the next products, but actually while we're talking about that, I might take the L'Oreal powder and very much do that Katie Jane Hughes preparation and I'll just let this settle in and set the eyelids while we do the rest of the face so that it can be ready for eyeshadow in a hot minute. So yeah, I'll just put some powder there and let it do its thing. So let's talk about the rest of the face products. Now, <laughs> it's so funny because Makeup by Mario, excellent makeup artist, he has a beautiful makeup line, came out with some incredible eyeshadow palettes, a ton of eye things, eyelid shimmery highlighter toppers, fabulous, love them, have used them a ton, have included them multiple times in favorites, and he recently did a huge expansion into the face categories, came out with the Soft Sculpt collection, 
And it's so funny, I picked up four of the products, which again, I had showed in that little haul video. I picked up the highlighter, a bronzer, one of the powder blushes, and one of the cream blushes. So this was my little haul here. I bought Creamy Peach for the blush. This guy right here looks very much like a NARS orgasm. I bought the Pale Petal blush stick, and then I bought the Pearl Highlighter in the Light Medium Bronzer. So this was my haul. This was what I intended to use here today, but then I don't think I knew that I was on the Makeup by Mario PR list, so I just got this giant box in the mail, and I got the Makeup by Mario PR. I had no idea. I was like, oh, you know me, you know where I live? Oh my God, I was so excited. I was, this box was so unexpected. I had no idea I was getting it. Obviously I bought half the products. So I have the entire new soft sculpt collection here and it came in this lovely box with these lovely little drawers here. So here's the shaping sticks. Then we have the blush sticks and then the bronzers. This one's really cute actually. It says shipping delay, arriving soon. I love that they did that. Great little box, Makeup by Mario, thank you so much. And I also realized that I hadn't actually bought one of the shaping sticks, which I was like, why? Why didn't I do that? Probably because I've been using so many cream bronzers lately and I have picked up so many, so many have been launched. I was like, just take a chill pill chill on the cream bronzers, but I am happy to have it now. So let's take a dive and play with some of the new Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Collection. So I'm gonna take this light medium shaping stick. I'm gonna be honest, the packaging, can you hear this? It all feels very loose. It's odd to me because the compacts themselves feel so sturdy, almost almost like a metal, like it feels very luxe and well-made. And then the sticks feel just like this light plastic that's like shape shaking around. It's kind of odd, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, so I'm going to use the light medium. Wow, that's so creamy. Oh my God, how lovely. This color, hold on. Let's see how it blends out. I'm gonna take my Smith 157 brush and let's, oh my God, yep, like butter, like butter. Are you witnessing that? Lovely. I think this is why I like to use a little bit of a deeper shade because once you actually blend them out, it turns into the most beautiful natural blend on the skin. I just, ugh. And it is that more like cool toned shade. So you can really get away with doing the little contouring and bronzing in one. Although this is a sculpting stick, but you don't have to use anything after this if you put enough on. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit more on this side because I've just exposed the zit that I covered up. <laughs> so we'll just try and lightly pretend that that's not there, but it is, so that's fine. This color is glorious. I can't believe I didn't buy this. I'm glad that I have it now. Makeup by Mario, thank you for checking in on me. It's almost as if you knew I was unprepared in testing your collection. Taking the Katie Jane Hughes number 13 brush and taking this down. The nose, with my nose contour, I've been trying to take it in a little bit more so it doesn't emphasize the bumps on the side of my face, which happens a lot with me and when I'm trying to do this little nose contour life, it is what it is. I have my little knobbly nose and she likes to live her best life. I'm gonna take a little bit there, blend it out. This is one of the most creamy formulas I've witnessed in a stick for sure. That is the shaping stick. Again, the packaging just feels a little bit kind of cheap, cheap, cheap and loose. It's just like loosely held. It feels like it's gonna fall apart. I don't know how else to describe that. The compacts feel delicious. Well, now that I have all the other blush sticks to choose from, holy moly, I might have to do a big giveaway, guys. And it might have to be before we move. <laughs> I think I'll leave the blushes for now. I'll use the one that I bought, the Pale Petal, because I do recall that this was the one I was the most interested in. So there's six other shades of this. It's that same loose packaging, very odd, but this color looks divine and just as creamy as the sculpting shaping stick. Like, look at that. So easy, so easy to blend out and press into the skin. Absolutely beautiful. Kind of reminds me of the Nude Sticks Cherry Blossom shade, very similar to that and very much that is a pale pink shade. So that blended out so beautifully. So I'm gonna go over with my beauty blender a little bit. Kind of fix up the edges, make it all blend in seamlessly. 
It's funny because these zits are currently sitting on my cheeks bald spot. <laughs> it just makes it all the more difficult to cover up with pigment. <laughs> wow. Look at this glow, the glow that is on the skin right now. Oh my goodness, you guys. And we have a lot more glow coming up in videos coming up. Like, it's gonna be tough. Like, there's a lot of great bases and creamy products, like, perfect for this natural summer. Like, look at my skin right now. This is summer, baby. Summer skin in these bottles. I love it. Love to see it. So those are the new cream ones. I'm gonna do a little bit of powder now. I'm gonna go back in with the L'Oreal Fresh Wear. It's foundation. It's foundation, but I like using it as a powder. I've been keeping this out, using it. It's beautiful. I wanted to say quickly, this is completely unrelated to this video, but just because it is drugstore and I ask you guys frequently for drugstore recommendations, so many of you recommend the number seven powder and you say it is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I don't, I can't get number seven powder here. Shoppers Drug Mart has some of the products, more like skincare, and then they have like a couple of random makeup products, but I've never seen the powder. I tried finding it online, nowhere shipped it to Canada. So unless I'm completely out to lunch and am missing it somewhere, please let me know if I'm able to buy it in Canada. Otherwise, I am unable to find the number seven powder. So I did wanna say that in the meantime, even though <laughs> you guys have told me that that is the perfect dupe, this has been a lovely powder from the drugstore and I've really been enjoying it. So there's the powder applied. Let's go in with the powder products. Like I mentioned, I have the bronzer and the highlight. I kind of wanna just peek at the other ones. So the highlighter wasn't in here, so I'm glad I picked one up. So I got the highlighter in Pearl. I did stab it with my nail. I am so sorry. Let's just rub that away, pretend it isn't there. Interesting, okay, it looks really kind of cool toned and silvery almost in the pan, but once you actually apply it onto the skin, it's uh, this very soft, very, very nice champagne color. Very lovely, almost like a little, well, Pearl is actually the perfect name for it. It is pearlescent, it's got that like kind of pinky reflect to it. Very, very pretty. So I did buy the light medium bronzer. I just wanna see light. So here's light and here's light medium. Because I love me a good deep bronze, I'm just gonna use the light medium. Excellent shade range, excellent coverage for the bronzers. What I've been doing lately is literally just taking the brush and rubbing it into the palm of my hand before applying it because sometimes like I didn't powder in this area around my face. So sometimes on the first like dab, it can get stuck kind of like I'll end up having this like kind of circle of bronzer where I first apply it getting stuck. So kind of getting it into the bristles just makes it a little bit easier to blend it around. So just adds that nice depth to the bronzer. And then I'm gonna take an eyeshadow brush and use that to apply the highlight. I'm gonna do the same thing I'm taking some of the pigment off on the brush and I'm just gonna rub it into my hand just cause it is quite an intense highlight and I think we have such a nice natural glow going on right now. I do want to build this a little bit more slowly. So I'm just applying that onto the high points of my cheeks. Applying it this way just kind of helps it to not feel like such a, a harsh line on the skin. It just allows me to blend it in a little bit more easy. This is so much more natural than I was thinking it was gonna be. It's a very nice natural color. I thought it would be quite stark, but what a beautiful like golden hue kind of. Very beautiful. I was not expecting that from this shade. I'm gonna take a bigger brush and just apply some of that onto my collarbones as well. Just to get the summer glow all over onto my shoulders, my still peeling shoulders from my sunburn. Oh my god. Like literally, can you see my peel line? Probably not. Anyway. Gorgeous highlighter. And you know what? The the powder blush is not not similar in shade to the cream one. So maybe just for good measure, let's just put a little bit of this on top. You can just add some extra color here. Oh, maybe I should do the blush technique from the Pat McGrath video, just kind of taking it more up here, right? Is that working? I feel like it's all blending in kind of like a, like a natural sunburn flush. I don't mind it. Have I ruined it? No, I feel like it's, it's subtle enough. All right, so that's some of the new collection from Makeup by Mario. What do you guys think? What do you think? So finally, we've made our way to the Natasha Denona products. So this is the new Zendo palette. 
And it's one of the minis. I, I really appreciate the smaller sized palettes. So this is the Zendo palette here. Quite an array of shades, I must say. You've got a lot of like fun, cool toned pops of blue here. You've got some really nice warm shades, all the beautiful bronzy shades in the neutral area to satisfy us more plain Jane gals. Uh, I was playing with this. I actually did attempt to create a look before and I absolutely failed. I was trying to practice. I was trying to do like a fun pink cut crease look. Oh boy, I failed so hard. And then I took this bronzy shade and rubbed it all over and ruined it even more. So unless I'm following a tutorial, I'm pretty useless when it comes to eyeshadow. So don't expect anything crazy and playful here. I am most likely going to be sticking to the neutral shades here. We might do a fun little pop of color, but we're gonna keep it PG today, guys. But the Zendo palette, listen, Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes in general are expensive. They are absolutely expensive. She has so many palettes, it can definitely be hard to choose from, but the formula is exceptional. Like if you want to invest in a Natasha Denona palette, you're not gonna be disappointed. The latest and greatest is the Zendo palette. This does scream like, I don't know, the word that comes to mind when I look at this is summer, firstly, but then popsicles, I don't know why, but these are like fun pops of popsicle color to me. Let's dive into the Zendo palette. I'm gonna take some of this balance shade, this lovely light camel color, and let's put that in the crease. This is a nice big fluffy brush. This is my Smith 232. I've had these for years, the 230 and 232. I have had them for years. I still, still to this day, get lost and confused between them and need to check every time. I'm just really blending that out into the crease. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye, see you after. I shall also take some of that onto the lower lash line and I just like to flick it up to meet where we've blended the crease at the top. Just like that. Okay, then this bronzy shade right here, Mindful. This is such a, such a gorgeous shade to me. I would actually love to just wear this all blended out all over the eye and just a thick, deep, smoky eye. I wanna keep it a little bit lighter though today because it is summertime and I'm using a fluffy brush with this and I'm just gonna like blend it into my hand because the first time I played with it, there was a lot of fallout. But look at that shadow. It's got such, such depth to it. It's so pretty. I'm just gonna use that to deepen up this crease. Even though it's a little bit shimmery, it does blend out to have the most lovely color. I think I used a brush that's too fluffy for this, but that's fine. We'll just go back and forth between the bigger fluffy brush and just get it to a very smoked out. <laughs> I might as well just put it all over the lid. I might as well. Oh my God, I literally just put that everywhere. It's like my body was like, yes, put it all over the lid. Fine, I will. I'm going to put this all over the lid. It is such a, such a pretty color. Ooh. Okay, just taking that fluffy brush again, blending out the edges. Okay, that's fun. Way deeper than I was intending to go today, but that's fine. It's fun. I'm gonna do the same on the other side and I'll see you after that. Okay, so now I wanna take some of this Patrick Ta Deep Bronze Liner and I'm gonna use that to line the lash line here. It's a much deeper, more cool toned brown. Take a flat shader brush and just press that into the lashes. So funny that we're getting fallout from this liner and didn't have any fallout from the shadow. Oh my God, it's literally crumbling. That's so crazy. So I'm just pushing this, pushing it into the lash line. And then I'm just gonna drag this up to do a little mini. It's literally crumb. It's crumbling. Can you see this? It is crumbling out of the package. Oh my God, onto my pants. Anyway, I'm just gonna drag it out. I don't want like a precise wing. So I'm just gonna like softly hit that. Oh, that was way too high. What have I done? Okay, it might be a little bit more blended out than I anticipated, but I'm just gonna push that into the lashes basically is all I was trying to say. Oh my God. Why is this happening now? It was so fine when I used it the first time. It's literally so dry. It's getting goopy and it's crumbling out. It's also being so hard to blend. I don't understand. Like it looks great. It looks fine, but it's so much more intense than I was anticipating for this eye. I'm gonna try to do the same on the other side. 
I'm going to dip back into pearl and use this as our brow bone highlight. I can't decide if I'm going to regret this or not, but I'm going to take this shade Breath. I'm just going to put that in the inner corner, or try to at least. Let's see how it looks. Am I going to regret this? Kind of fun. Oh, it kind of gives it a much more like fresh and completed look. I don't know. It's giving me good feelings. There you go. There's your pop of color. There's your pop of blue. Okay, I'm going to use my mascara combo, the Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara and the Annabelle Skinny Mascara on the bottom lashes. All right, so those are the eyes. That's that first little look into the Zendo palette. Let me know what you guys think. Nice and simple, simple eye. For lips, I'm gonna use my KKW Beauty Nude 1.5 liner. So creamy, so good. Just push that in with my finger. And then I know I didn't use this on my cheeks today, but the new Natasha Denona Puff Paint liquid blush serum this guy right here beautiful i actually did try this on my cheeks the other day you'll just have to take my word for it beautiful beautiful tint but i also applied it on my lips and it was actually really pretty i know it's not necessarily the intended use of it but it was really nice blended into my lip liner and it kind of matches the color that we've got on our cheeks right now anyway It's so pretty. It's very, very light. Like serum blush, like blush serum is a good name for it. I kind of want to try some of the other colors. It's very pretty as a lip color and a blush color. So a nice little pink lip with the new blush serum. And that's the finished look. Just gonna don my jewels. And that, pals and gals, completes this look, jewelry and all. I hope that you enjoyed this lovely little playtime, slightly more playful makeup than we intended video and i hope you enjoyed taking a good look at some of these lovely new products i'm obsessed obsessed with how the base looks so juicy so glowy a really fun new palette from natasha denona i would love to hear your thoughts on this did a little pop color beautiful new base products beautiful new entire collection from makeup by mario i would love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments down below let me know what you think about some of these new products and if there's anything else that you would like to see me review here on my channel please do also give me a shout i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed this final makeup look and thank you so much for being here and thank you for watching and i'll see you all very soon for a new video bye